Now, if confirmed by the Senate, Mayor Barrett would serve as President Biden's top diplomat to the small European country of more than 600,000 people. We have team coverage tonight as community leaders reflect on Barrett's legacy in Milwaukee. And we'll also share the connection between Luxembourg and a small town in Ozaki County. But we start with CBS 58's Adam Reif. He's live outside City Hall with the political implications of Barrett's nomination. Adam. Natalie Jessup, if and when Mayor Barrett is confirmed as ambassador and resigns as mayor of Milwaukee, Council President Cavalier Johnson will become acting mayor. But one alderman says it's too soon to tell if this is even a good thing for the city. He's worried about what could happen in the coming months. I think there'll be considerable chaos, confusion, and uncertainty for the next 90, 120, 180 days in the city. The chain reaction is just beginning, but it all hinges on when the mayor actually resigns. Then Council President Cavalier Johnson will become acting mayor. Johnson called Mayor Barrett a proven leader with great experience, adding in a statement, quote, we will continue to work closely with the mayor during this time of transition. Until he decides to step down, he will remain in that position and the business at City Hall will continue. But the focus is already on the special election. And the statute speaks in general terms of promptly. The council must promptly call a special election for the, op for the office of the mayor. Once the election is called for, there will be a window of 66 to 77 days to hold it. Any primary will be held four weeks before. State Senator Lena Taylor lost to Barrett in the April 2020 mayoral election and was coy about whether she'll run again. We'll see. She said she just happened to be downtown as the news of the appointment broke and wants the process to play out. There are a number of things to look at. And so at this point, I think we have to make sure that there is an appointment uh, and we have to make sure that we understand what the process is. And that could be a long time. But Alderman Bauman is concerned about the timing and a host of issues facing the city. So the, so the new mayor, whoever he or she may be, will face a boatload of challenges. Now, Alderman Bauman says as many as 10 to 15 qualified candidates could throw their hat in the ring to be the next mayor. He says special elections are very expensive to put on and thinks the best thing for the city would be to roll that special election into the next general election. That would be in April. Live at City Hall, Adam Rive, CBS 58 News. Adam, thank you. Tom Barrett's political career spans more than 30 years. The Milwaukee native was first elected mayor in 2004, easily winning re-election in the years that followed. He also ran for governor in 2010 and the 2012 recall election, losing both those races to former Governor Scott Walker. Barrett served five terms as a U.S. congressman from 93 to 2003, representing the 5th Congressional District. And before that, he was a state senator and member of the state assembly. Milwaukee's business community is bracing itself for change in the wake of Barrett's nomination. CBS 58's Michelle Fiore is live downtown with their reaction tonight. Michelle. Natalie, news of Mayor Barrett's announcement spread like a shockwave down here. The business community now looking back on the last 17 years and wondering what the future may hold. Leaders say Mayor Barrett's focus on the economy made him a standout for Milwaukee. When you think about the skyscrapers that have gone up downtown, the corporate headquarters that have moved downtown, the development of Bayview as sort of next to downtown, that's all very much uh, to his credit. While Mayor Barrett and business leaders butted heads from time to time, Mordecai Lee says overall, Barrett was good for the economy. He was mayor through the 2008 recession and he was mayor during the pandemic. Those were really hard. And there was a whole era where downtown was not doing well. You could walk down Wisconsin Avenue on Saturday evening and every spot was an empty parking spot. The Metropolitan Milwaukee Association of Commerce congratulating Mayor Barrett now, saying he's been a consistent champion for economic development here. The Milwaukee 7 Regional Partnership with this statement, saying on his watch, Milwaukee drew in a significant amount of investment and job creation. And from Visit Milwaukee, quote, we appreciate the tremendous leadership he's shown in the city since 2004. I'm not sure what we'll remember the most about Tom Barrett because the city has been doing so well, but definitely the thriving downtown is his signature success. A business owners we talked to today said although they butted heads with the mayor from time to time, with change comes some anxiety. They say that Mayor Barrett always had a good heart and he will be missed. 
Reporting live downtown, I'm Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News.